everything that we do and experience in life is through the medium of thoughts. These thoughts give rise to emotions, feelings, and sentiments. And when repeated, the result in attitudes and mindsets that create our personality, who we are. That is why the process of self-transformation must begin with thoughts. Let's take inspiration from Kathy Buckley, who is an actress, a motivational speaker, a best-selling author, and is famous as America's first hearing-impaired comedian. Not everything was well with Kathy as a little toddler. She suffered from spinal meningitis, that resulted in hearing impairment. The consequence was that in primary school, when the teacher would say something, she could not make out. She would be busy doing lip reading when another student's lips started moving and then a third. People thought that she was mentally challenged, only later realizing she was hearing impaired. Kathy confesses she stole regularly from her home and her parents to give gifts to her classmates. She wanted them to love her and accept her. Like all of us, she yearned to be part of something greater than herself. She passed out of school with an unbelievable grade point average of one. Kathy says, I have failed in many things in life, but five failures I never regret. Were the five times I attempted suicide until the age of 19. And then, as a 20-year-old, she was sunbathing on the beach. When a lifeguard's jeep ran over her, that resulted in multiple fractures on her body. And for the next two and a half years, she was in bed, followed by another two and a half years on the wheelchair. Just when she thought she was able to move again, life had another bouncer in store, and she got cervical cancer. It crippled her for another two years, and she says, I almost died. That was the time when she decided to change her thoughts. She said to herself, how dare people decide that I cannot hear who are they to say, I cannot walk properly? And how can anybody deny me the freedom to live? The consequence was that she began swimming. That rejuvenated her legs and soon she was walking normally. She took up a job as a massage exercise therapist. One of her patients had cerebral palsy. Kathy discovered that when she would make them laugh, it was good for their health, and she started becoming better and better at humor. Her patient encouraged Kathy to stand up for the cause of cerebral palsy. A fundraiser was being organized where the best comedians of the country were coming. Only problem was Kathy didn't realize it was a professional event. She joined in as one of the 80 comedians and romped in at fourth place. 
After that, she started doing the rounds in America on the comedy circuit, becoming more and more famous. She discovered her talent for motivational speaking when she was asked to conduct a workshop for disabled people. Today, Kethi inspires millions of people around the world through her talks and her best-selling book. Let's take a lesson from her life. And no matter how difficult our circumstances, let's remember we have the freedom to choose our thoughts. Let me read to you about this from my latest book, The Power of Thoughts. Very few people in the world pay attention to the sequence of causation. They grapple with improving their actions only to see their developmental efforts undone by pure thoughts. If they had instead focused on transforming their thinking, even a fraction of their efforts would have yielded incredible results. The power of thoughts has two parts to it. In the first half, I have dealt with thoughts that harm us and techniques for eradicating or sublimating them. In the second half, I have explained strategies to unleash your thinking to live life to the fullest. I hope you have a magnificent and enlightening journey as we proceed together through the pages of this book. You see, the resources we require for a hugely successful life cost us nothing at all. In fact, we mass produce 60,000 of them every day. The difficulty is that the quantity is uncontrolled and the quality is appalling. If only we could improve this internal resource of ours, we would be able to tap into a huge force available to all. I am talking about our thoughts. All our actions are preceded by thinking. When our thoughts are abject, disappointing, immoral, dismal, the consequence is that we lead an abject and miserable existence. And when we choose to think noble, heroic, and sublime thoughts, we develop a divine personality and a heroic character. So since thoughts are so important to us, we must think about thoughts. And that is what we are going to do for the next few episodes alongside with the release of this latest book, The Power of Thoughts.